Hi, I'm Captain Tripp with Boat Test, and we're aboard Rabalo's 246 Cayman. They tell us this is their most popular boat in their whole lineup. There's a lot of features that Rabalo has packed into this boat, and I'm excited to show you why this boat is so popular. She gets up to speed nicely, bow drops down, on plane really quick. Ration tests, the time to plane was 4.8 seconds. 0 to 20 mile per hour took 5.7 seconds and 0 to 30 miles per hour was achieved in 8.3 seconds. Very responsive. Oh yeah. This is fun. I like it. She's just dancing on the water. And we'll do a little broad turn here. Throw us a wake in there with it. Man, he's holding. Here she comes. The wake's on the side, nice and easy. Open her up. Like a dream. This 246 is powered by a Yamaha 300 V6 with an optional jack plate. Her prop geometry was a 15 and a quarter by 18 by three Saltwater Series 2 prop. The Rabalo 246 Cayman boasts an overall length of 24 foot six inches, a beam measuring nine foot, and a draft of 16 inches with a motor raised. Its empty weight stands at 5,100 pounds, on our test day, with half a tank of fuel and two people on board, our estimated test weight was 6,302 pounds. Powered by a single Yamaha 300 V6 motor that peaked out at 5,900 RPM, we achieved a top speed of 48.5 miles per hour. The optimal cruising speed was found at 3,500 RPM, registering 28.2 miles per hour. At this speed, the fuel consumption was 19.3 gallons per hour, translating to 1.46 miles per gallon. This gives us a range of 131 statute miles while factoring in a 10% fuel reserve from the boat's 90 gallon fuel capacity. We had minimal chop on our testing day, but we did experience some larger boat wakes that the Cayman handled with ease. I found the boat steady while underway, responsive when she needs to be, and experienced no prop ventilation. Knowing that this is a shallow draft vessel with less dead rise, she doesn't bank as hard in turns, and in an aggressive higher speed turn, full control is easily maintained, and there's just a bit of slide that's to be expected with such a shallow draft hull design. Although the Cayman is engineered to be a bay boat, I wouldn't hesitate to take her offshore on the right days. Now, let's take a look at the details of this boat. Let's talk about the helm. From here, you have great visibility through your flat tempered glass and an integrated T-top, which is integrated into the console so it's not protruding into the aisles where you're trying to pass by. The T-top is obviously over-engineered for a bay boat, but that's what I like to see. And we have an oversized top on it that provides more shade. A lot of times in a bay boat, you're always fighting over that little bit of shade in the evening or in the mornings. It's great to be able to share it with everyone aboard. Note that there's an open space above the windshield for a breeze. Four of our rod holders located on the back of the T-top along with spreader lights. We also have an E-box overhead in the T-top. Have a nice sturdy stainless steel adjustable wheel and our 12 inch Simrad screen that is custom flush mounted. In both port and starboard we find our backlit stainless steel switches with the appropriate fuse nearby. We also have controls for our trim tabs, 12 volt outlet, a wireless phone charger, dual USBs, and our Clarion head unit for our stereo system. Two stainless cup holders, glove box, keys, and our Yamaha engine screen, along with our engine controls. Now, Rabalo has chosen to use a silicone-based material for their upholstery. This stuff resists mold and mildew, and it's gonna be looking new longer than your traditional vinyl. 
They also give us sturdy flip-up armrests and a side cushion. So if you're passing by or just leaning against this here, you're nice and comfortable. They also give us flip-up bolsters on each seat, as well as a molded-in footrest with two different positions, depending on your comfort level, and a Revalu-branded anti-fatigue mat. Along the backrest of our leaning post, we have four rod holders. Under our helm seat, not only has Revalu given us a custom cooler, but they've solved a common problem. They have latches here that secure the cooler, so as you're underway, it's not drifting back and out from under the seat. Man, I've needed that so many times. Looking at our cap rails, I'm happy to see how wide these are. These are 10 inches, which allows you to actually walk all the way around the boat. And we also find Rabalo's black caulk, which is just a sign of excellent craftsmanship. And then nice padded bolsters with their silicone upholstery, which has many advantages. Then underneath, we have two rod holders, as well as a plug for a battery charger. And I do like to see the padding here for your reel, so they're not scuffing up your boat. Probably my favorite thing about the boat, aside from its overall look, is the access to the bilge. It's great to see such ease of access to all of our important components when it comes to maintenance. There's a lot to like in this mechanical compartment. First, note that the battery switch is handy and has dual crossover for the two standard batteries, which are conveniently located to make removing as easy as possible, and they're securely strapped down. Second, all the electrical wires are sheathed in tubes to prevent chafing. Finally, my arm is long enough to reach in and turn off both the through-hole ball valves. As I've come to expect throughout the boat, we have quality components, and that shows in this full stainless gas support with a safety latch. Right now, we're in casting deck mode with plenty of room, maybe even for two anglers up here. But if you want the best ride in the house in rough seas, and you have plenty of seating for two adults or three children. Coming from the stern, the first thing you're going to notice is we have two compartments, one on each side for a five gallon bucket. Great place to store your nasty things or maybe your cast net. And one thing I really like about the Robalo line is their use of tension hinges on almost all of their hatches. And these are great because wherever you open your hatch to, it's gonna hold it in place. So it's not banging around, slamming around, and you're not worried about a gas strut breaking on you. Just a really great premium feature. We also find rod holders, port and starboard, as well as stainless steel pop-up cleats. And coming a little farther forward, we find stainless cup holders. Both port and starboard, we also have these large oversized live wells, again with the tension hinges, and I like that they have put a molded divider in here. So if you have different baits, you can keep them so they're not arguing with each other. I also like the fact knowing that the live wells are both insulated to keep your bait alive longer on those hot days. Something that Rabalo has done with their bay boats is the forward seating, they actually recessed it down. Normally you just find cushions snapped on top of the casting platform. So now, if you're riding along, maybe you hit a wave real quick, the kids aren't just gonna slip over the side. This is gonna keep them on board. And we have padding that is curved along the edges of the seating. Another thing that Rabala does in the fit and finish category would be they finish the underside of their hatches. I appreciate seeing so many rod holders aboard this boat, especially nice and protected like they are here. Then we have, of course, our paddle latches with Rabalo which I do enjoy because I can just go up underneath the latch and lift up versus having to fumble underneath my cushion, mess up my snaps to get to my turn latch. And having these removable backrests make this a great place to lounge maybe during the day when you're cruising in smooth water. You also have cup holders and some of your JL Audio custom speakers. And something else that Rabalo gives us is a removable table that can be placed here With our short leg in and our additional cushion, this converts to a large sun pad. But it can also be lowered down to the level of our hatches. We can remove our cushions and it creates a large extra casting deck. And under our hatch here, we find a live well with our tension hinges. Now something about this live well that Rabalo does is we have our Yeti style plugs. This is a lot better than your traditional rubber plugs you're trying to get in there. They just never work right. This you know it's going to be working when you screw it in. Just for that, we find our anchor locker as well as two 8-inch bow cleats. Rabalo managed to fit a head under the console of this 24-foot boat. And one of the ways they did is by incorporating this 
forward-facing entryway. This approach is one we don't often see, but it makes entry and egress a lot easier than a door on the side of the console. Our test boat is set up for storage, but there is room for a portable toilet. Roballo is one of those manufacturers that allows you to build and price their boats right on their website. It could save you some money and make sure you get the experience you're looking for. For example, Roballo gives you a choice of eight hull gel coat colors. You have the choice of a 250 or 300 horsepower engine and hydraulic or digital steering. And having tested her with a 300 horsepower engine, we know what she'll do. You also have a choice of seven three-tone upholstery color schemes. Pick your favorite at no charge. The T-top is an option, and as I mentioned, everyone should have one. This one is particularly well done with the integrated glass windshield, powder-coated aluminum supports, robust build, I think it's worth the money. If you want to keep the glare down on your windshield, consider one of the seven dark tones for the overhead of the T-top. White is standard. Ruballo will install an optional multifunctional display and the related wiring as well as sonar for just over $5,000. If you want to have a stereo on your boat, my experience is don't even think about doing that yourself. The wire runs and connections are problematic on a DIY job and Roballo has worked with JL Audio to work out the best setup and placement for excellent audio. Roballo will install a Minn Kota trolley motor for you for $4,000. Trim tabs are needed in most center consoles for balance and the price is right. Finally, the 246 Cayman comes standard with a tandem axle trailer. That's about it for our buyer's advice, but no matter what you decide, you'll have a boat with good bones under you. That's our features walkthrough and performance evaluation of Roballo's 246 Cayman. I'm Captain Tripp Smith with Boat Test, and remember, life's better on a boat.